Hey guys, it's May May and it's time to share with you all of the beautiful things that you guys have sent me for my Christmas card mini album. I'm very, very excited about this. You guys went above and beyond. And so I'm excited to show what's come in and share some channels and um, just share some people's wonderful work. So let's get started. So here's the card and the back has got her information so I'm not going to show you the back. And here's the, what it says. It says, hey sweetie, here is my card for your mini album. I can't wait to go through the process with you. I know it is going to turn out wonderful. You always do such great work or great job on your projects. Thanks for letting everyone be part of it. And this is from Scrappy K. Sue. And I'm going to pull this away and read her information. And I'll put links to everybody below. So this is scrappykaysue.blogspot.com. She also has an Etsy store. And I will link her below. Okay, let's look at her card. Guys. This is the cutest. Do you see this? Look how adorable this is. And let's go over it for just a second. This looks like, and I could be wrong, it looks like she took a stamp and stamped this Christmas tree maybe twice and then cut the pieces out like paper piecing to get the layered effect. Look at the bling. It is literally crystal bling. You can tell just by the shimmer. Merry Christmas on this side. These little packages look like they might have been cut out of... Maybe the scrap, maybe the paper, the paper line she used. So adorable. And look at the inside. It says, sending warm wishes for the happiest of holidays. So pretty. And look at the little bling. I uh, love it. I can't wait to use this. This is just, this is just screaming to be made into a tag right there. So <laughs> thank you so much, Scrappy K. Sue. And her real name is Karen. Uh, Karen Sue, but she goes by Scrappy K. Sue. So I'm very, very excited to have received that. Thank you so much. This is from Patricia P. Mater, but she is known as FaridasCreations.blogspot.com. Again, I'll link everybody below so you don't have to try to remember it here. Um, but look at this. This card is gorgeous. Look at the use of stamping. And then she has a little bling. And this feels like gold glitter tape. Maybe like a glitter washi. Or either an adhesive that she glittered. Doesn't seem to be flaking off on me either, so. This one says, giving thanks for God's gift of love and the joy we share through Christ the Lord. Isn't that beautiful? I love that one. But look at this one. She sent me three total. Happy holidays. This is so vintage. Can you see it? These are embossed in gold. These ornaments here. This one's stamped in a deep red and then embossed at the top. Just gorgeous. And look at this teal, teal little, um jewel in the middle. Gorgeous. It's got some dimension to it, but look at the inside. I love how she used the pattern paper in the background and then left and then put this little insert so you could write on it. It says from our house to yours. So pretty. And look at this one. Mm. This just looks like a snowy wonderland. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's all stamping. This one has um what is this? I can oh this is embossed in a gray, almost like a silver gray. It might even be charcoal. I'm not sure about that color. But all the rest is just stamping. Isn't that beautiful? I say just stamping. It's gorgeous. Look at the inside. Look at that stamp. So pretty. This one says, the magic of Christmas never ends. Its greatest gifts are family and friends. Very cute. Very cute. So thank you so much, Farida. These are gorgeous. This card comes to me from Becky, and I hope I say this right, Macaulay. And she is Aunt B's Creations. Love um, love this card if I can get into it. I've already been in it once. I've already opened all these. I couldn't wait, so I have looked at them. <laughs> Let me show you. Look. It's gorgeous. Do you see that? That embellishment is so pretty. It has, this is, behind this is like a um, acrylic or like a plastic embellishment behind this poinsettia. I think it is amazing with, sn with um, snowflakes and sleighs. And then it says Seasons Greetings on the inside. So pretty. So this one is Aunt B's Creations. And um, I'll put her link below. She gave me the information. Or I actually know her information. I will put it below. Now this is from Kim Schultz. Now Kim has a granddaughter named Abby who has become one of my fans, she tells me. And that they watch May May Made It videos together. Now she's very, very young. I want to say she's eight months. Yes, eight months. Okay. Her card says, thank you so much for the opportunity to contribute to your album. I hope that you enjoy the cards from my eight-month-old granddaughter and me. 
Thanks again for also helping me grow as an artist and encouraging me to try new crafty things. Happy crafting from Kim. All right, so this is um, her Facebook and her blog. But again, I'll put this below, but just in case. So there's that. But let's look at these cards. Look at this. Now this feels like, it's very, very thick, very thick on the front. This feels like a thin piece of chipboard and a lot of inking has happened here. There's some spray, maybe some mist, um, a glittery effect that might be embossed there. I know this is embossed. I can feel that is embossed, but isn't that beautiful? That looks really pretty. And this one says, it has um, a stamp at the top, glory to God on the, in the highest, on earth, peace, goodwill toward men, and then peace on earth. May you have a very blessed Christmas. Friends, Kim. Love that. Okay, this one is adorable. This is right up my alley. Look, this is a snowman who has melted. Do you see him? He's so cute. He's got little black, um, like, pearls, like half pearls, and he is on what appears to be a, uh, what are they called? You can tell me. A wibble wobble? I think that's what they're called. I don't know if that's what they're called or not. But anyway, um, he moves. And this little scarf is felt. That's super cute. And it's on a glittery embossed background. It says, snowman will melt your heart. Merry Christmas. And this one's from Abby. Look, that's so cute. I think she helped Abby write that. <laughs> and then this is so me. Do you see the music paper in the back? And the bling. I love it. This music paper, again, is very thick. She's distressed the edges and inked it so pretty. She's inked the edges of the tree as well. It's very cute. This one says, Merry Christmas in the stamp and wishing you all the joys, love, and blessings your heart can hold this Christmas and, uh, and always. Your South Dakota friend, Kim. So, so cute. Okay. So, thank you so much. And look, she sent me um, three Christmas and then one just a little thank you card, which I might use that too. You never know. Everything may end up in this album. We'll see. Okay. The next package, and I'm just going down the line here, picking them up. Let me see if I can pull this out. This is from Crafty Irina, and let's see, she sent me, she sent me a gift. This one says, um, a small gift to show my appreciation for your awesome channel. Warm hugs, Irene. This is super sweet. This card, this paper is so pretty. Look at this paper. I'm in love with it. So gorgeous. This paper stack is from Prima, and it is, um... I'm trying to see if there's a name. Oh, Romance Novel. Why are the names so big and I always miss them? I just always do. Romance Novel. And I'll tell you something, Irene. I've never had Prima paper before, so thank you for sending me this. This is super cool. My first pack of Prima. Awesome. Thanks a lot for that. And then let's look at the card. I want to show you guys this. Look how she packaged this card. Do you see this little piece of like foam? It's like a thin piece of packaging foam she put on top to protect it. I thought that was really cute. And look. The Christmas tree is dimensional. There's a little silver doily in the back. I have a bunch of black doilies left over from the wedding. I thought that would be really cute to duplicate what she did. I love her bow. It's basically two pieces of ribbon knotted with a button in the middle to make it look like a bow. And then it says, Merry Christmas. Let me just check and make sure there's no addresses in here because I feel like there might be. No, we're good. Okay, it's blank on the inside, so I can write whatever I'd like. She included her email and her YouTube channel on this little sticker, which I will put that below. I'll put links to everybody. And then she wrote me a little note. And it says, thank you so much for, the, um, for this fun challenge. I love your channel. It's filled with awesome, inspiring projects. I learn something each time I view your projects. Thank you for... Thank you for you. You are amazing. Very down to earth. I hope you like my cards. Warm hugs, Irene. Crafty Irina. Thank you so much, Miss Irene. I want to call you Irina. <laughs> Thank you, Irene, really. This is just a beautiful card. I'm anxious to use all of these cards. And I love this tip of using this little squishy paper in the front. It reminds me of that paper you get in Close to My Heart uh, stamp sets. The way they're kind of got that squishy, foamy material in there. That's what it reminds me of. All right, so load this one back up. Can't wait to use the paper. That's awesome. So I'm trying to make sure there's no addresses. Oh, I can't show you guys that yet. Oh, I'm so in love with this. Okay, here's the card. Look at this envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. A place with the for the return and the address. And then look at the card that goes with it. It's very Parisian. Love it. This one says, oh, I love this one so much. 
Enclosed are a few items for your Christmas album. I hope you find them useful. I am new to crafting and I enjoy your YouTube videos very much. You are my favorite YouTube crafter. You're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. You have such a sweet personality. I feel a Christian sisterly connection to you. I call your tutori tutorials Make It With May. Um, wait, Make It With May May. Love the Burlap Mini album. Your tutorials are very helpful and much appreciated. Thanks again. Because he lives, Sharon. Here, that is so super sweet. And look what she did. These are two vintage buttons from her collection, which I just think is adorable. She put this on the card. And it says, um, the vintage bias tape and writ rack are part of my large underline finds from my local Goodwill. Take care and God bless. Happy crafting. Look what she's talking about. She sent me these. Could you stand it? Look at that. I'm so excited. Now, you know all of this is going to have to find its way into our album, right? We have a green and red button for Christmas colors, and then she sent me this. So this, I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to open this and put it in my album. Or maybe I could just use it as decoration in the album. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So I'm going to sit those there for a second. <laughs> Look at this. Now, she sent me cards. What I love is, like, this is the top of a card. So she sent me that, and I know I can use this. Look at this. It's shimmery and gorgeous. That will be so pretty as a decoration in the album. This is the front of a card. Because if you remember, I didn't ask for just handmade cards. Just even if you had any cards. And this one is shimmery and glittery. I just love it. And look at this. And this one has all of these raised designs. Raised and all the foil on it is so pretty. It says, uh, wishing you an old-fashioned Christmas and a happy new year. So this is one that she'd received. And I just love that she's willing to share those with me so they can go in my album. So I'm very excited about all of these goodies. Thank you so much, Sharon. I just love all of these good, beautiful things. Oh, I, I threw my tape at myself. <laughs> so the next card I have comes from Kathy. And, oh, I love this card. I love this card. Now I remember it. This card is made using a dryer sheet technique. Let me read you what she said to me. Because this is super cool. She says, Amy, and look, she loves Dr. Seuss. I want to say this is my very first card I made. I made it last year and would not send it to anyone. I used a dryer sheet, adhesive, and glitter. I know you hate glitter, LOL. Trust me, this is this is so newbie, but you know we all have to start somewhere. Kathy. And she says, P.S. I'm a Dr. Seuss nut. Guys, this was her first card she ever made. <laughs> and look at that. She used the dryer sheet technique so it has the shimmer to it. And it's just really, really good. Look at her stitching. That's the faux stitching with a white gel pen. Can you believe that for her first card? My first card didn't look this good. And then, inside, it's so cute. And what I like is on the inside, she put a gem right on the inside, which I think is really cute because a lot of times we don't do that. And I like it a lot. I love this. And by the way, there's no glitter falling off of it. Well, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, but I've had so much glitter, I don't know. I don't think the glitter's falling off, but super cute. Thank you so much, Kathy. I love it. I love that you're a Dr. Seuss fan. That is super cute. And I can't wait to put this on my album or in my album. So now these are from Miss Brenda Lawrence, and she sent me two in different envelopes. I have to show you this. Let me make sure there's no addresses. This is so cool. Okay, she colored this with Copics, okay? There is a shimmery, glittery, maybe, maybe stickles. That might be stickles. I'm not 100% sure. She has little snowflakes that look like they came from maybe confetti, like party confetti. And this is um, embossed and inked as well. So cute. A lot of detail. Then we have this little snowman hat and look. This piece opens like this. This piece with the little mittens on it opens like this. And then this opens like this. That's really cute, isn't it? I think that's adorable. All these little panel pieces. And I'll show you when I flip it over. The way she did the panel pieces, she just added that piece on the back. And it's just seamless. It is so Cute. I love cards that have these unusual openings. I don't know if she designed this herself or she found it, but I love it. And I don't know if you stamped this or if this is digital. Let me know. Is this digital um, or stamping? Because if this is stamping, your stamping is amazing. Very neat and clean. I think it stamps, though. But I love that one. That's one that she sent me. Then she also sent me this one, which is amazing. Do you see this Santa Claus? I'm, I'm pretty sure she Copic colored the Santa Claus. And then... The thing I love about this one is I would probably not have put this paper with it, but it looks so good together. I think, you know, we tend to go red and green at Christmas, but this is navy and gold, and it's just gorgeous, and look how it opens. So you see the Santa? Oh, I think it is beautiful, and she has this. Does this come out? 
No, this has the little corners on it. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous on this navy cardstock. This cardstock is very rich, too. Oh, and there's glossy accent on his eyes. Love it. This reminds me of my grandma's little candy dish. How cute. Thank you so much for these, Brenda. They are gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them. Okay, this next one is from Melissa Lambert. And I want to show you something she did. She wrote, do not bend on the back. But she also put non-machinable. I think that's very smart to do that because this means that they cannot run it through the machine. I think that's smart. I've never thought to do that, but I think that's a good tip if you send very dimensional projects. Look at this. Now, you guys may or may not have known her by Melissa Lambert, but when I tell you her channel name, it's Dolly Pop Productions. You will definitely know. It says, Amy, hi there. Wanted to send this Christmas card for your album. Can't wait to see it finished. Thank you so much for doing this and supporting our channels. Look at the inside. It has some music paper back here, but here's the cool thing. Now, she has a video on her channel where she discusses what she did here. But the coolest thing to me is this is done with hot glue. It's hot glued, and then it has like a silver foil over it, and it's a, pr it's a really cool technique. So check out her link below to go see how she did this um, card. And I love the colors. Very vintage. Very shabby chic. So cute. Just love it. So thank you so much, Melissa. I just love it. And her link will be below. This card is from Marsha Kennedy. And the cool thing is, Marsha is the person who had the idea for me to do this. And this card is amazing. Look at this. She has bells, little bells here, and little, um, kind of a pearly little um, piece of bling on the tag. And it says, Believe. It's so cute. And the front of the card, like the card is one piece, but the front has been embossed and then has that music note paper on it. So cute. Um, Merry Christmas from Marsha. And here's what she says. OMG. Here's my total lame. She put attempt at a card. Guys, is that lame? I think not. Y'all tell Marsha she did a good job. I used to make them years ago and gave all my art supplies to my daughter-in-law, who's artsy. So now I'm collecting new stuff. Two attempts at embossing and stamping. At stamping. Had to say it will have to do. <laughs> Uh, my handwriting <laughs> my handwriting sucks, she says. I have arthritis, and it takes 100% concentration to get the words out. This is the first card I've made in years, so be kind. I don't even have to be... Look, I am going to be kind, but I don't have to force it. This is very, very pretty. She did a great job, so I love it, and I can't wait to use it. One thing I like is all the different colors of the cards. I think that's the cool thing about this whole thing is everybody's is different, so that should make for a very interesting album. Thank you, Marsha. Um... Because she, you know, helped me come up with this idea, she felt like she had to make a card. <laughs> so. All right, let's see what this one is here. Look at this gorgeous card with this layered poinsettia with Wink of Stella on the poinsettia. And there's a little piece of tin. That's either tin or aluminum foil embossed behind there. It is gorgeous. Let me hold it up close so you can see all that. Just gorgeous. This is from um, Nyoka Smith. She says, Hi, saw your announcement about sharing one of our cards for your scrapbook. Would like to offer one of mine. I've been making my own cards for about 15 years. I enjoy it so much. I also enjoy your video tutorials. They are straight to the point without a lot of useless chatter. Hmm, my kind of video. Not like today, I guess. Have learned some great tips and techniques from you. Thanks so much. Keep those videos coming. Merry Christmas. And... This is cool, too, because she told me what everything is. So I'm going to hold it like this and read to you what everything is. The papers are the Old World Winter Pack. The flower is a die cut from Paper Artist. The button is handmade by her. Wow. That's super cool. And then the sentiment is Stampin' Up! Perfect Punches. Joy at Christmas. That's so cute. There's Wink of Stella and Stickles on here for the bling. Just love it. I think she did an awesome job. Thank you so much. And it's Nyoka Smith. Um, I don't see a YouTube channel for her, but look at her little stamp on the back. Super cute. Thank you so much for that. I just love it. This is another package, and this one is from... Ah, I opened this one yesterday at work. I had me in tears. Okay. This one is from Anita Blaylock. Her YouTube name is Anita B. Her letter says, I'm one of your subscribers and I love your channel. I do not have a YouTube channel or any kind of store to promote. I normally don't share anything I craft with anyone but family, so you're my first. So I'm honored. My sisters and I call crafting our therapy. 
Now, um, Anita goes on to tell me a story about how they lost a family member, a 22-year-old family member, in a motorcycle accident, and that they craft for therapy, which I think is awesome. They um, have a big room. They get together occasionally with their mom and do projects. They laugh and cry together. She says, I don't typically make cards, but I would love to give it a try. I included two because one of them was simple, and hopefully they are worthy of your album. They are absolutely worthy. She says, I also wanted to send you some Christmas clothes pins I picked up at Michael's last year, as well as some 6 by 6 paper from the Graphic 45 Christmas Pass collection. Hope these things you um, hope these are things you like and may want to use. Have an awesome day. God bless you. Anita Blaylock. Super sweet. And guys, look at these. The little images or the little cutouts are covered in like canvas or what I like to call a burlap look. <laughs> they're red and kind of natural so they're so cute. They're definitely going in the album. And like she said, they're from Michaels. Love these. Thank you so much. And look at this stack of paper that she sent me. And it's Graphic 45 Christmas Past. Look at this. Oh, I just can't believe it. I just think it is amazing. I'm so thankful for this. I'm in love with the Graphic 45 paper line. You guys know that I've um, asked Jamie to start carrying it in her store because I just love it. So she's carrying it. We're waiting on the holiday papers now. Just lo look at that. Oh, that piece and this piece are the same. So pretty. And I actually have a project coming up tomorrow that these papers might just be perfect for. Um just love these. It looks like she shared these from her stash, which is so super sweet. I just love that. I love the Santa so much. So cute. So thank you so much, Anita. Let's look at her cards because I am impressed with them. I think they are beautiful. And let's open this up. Look at this little thing. This little, I don't know where this came from, but it's like a little container with little, oh, Office Depot. That's what it says on it. Super cute. And she has wrapped these very carefully in some bubble wrap and look at this amazing card. I hope you can see that those are teeny tiny pearls at the top of those trees in the stars. This paper is inked and weathered and worn. It is beautiful and look on the inside. Look at that inking. Amazing. I just think they're gorgeous. I would love to get this card from anybody. I just love it. Thank you so much Anita. That is one of them. And then let's look at this guy. Now I had two melting stone in, but that's cool because I'll be able to use them in two places in the in the um, album, and I'm excited about that. Look at this, so cute. He's three layers. He's lifted up on foam between each layer. He has a glittery scarf, glitter everywhere, and little mittens. Look at his mittens, so cute. And he's either melting or he's looking up at us. He might just be looking up at us. And this one says, "Decorate your holidays with happiness." And look what she did on the inside stamped and it looks like some stickle centers so cute so that is all of the cards i've gotten so far for the album um if you've sent me something and you don't see it here please let me know because that's everything i have gotten so far um let me know and i can i can talk to my post office and see if i don't know maybe they've put it somewhere or maybe i just didn't pick up a package or something but i think i've gotten everything but I did want to share one more thing with you. This is something that many of you know my friend Gareth. We talk, we talk about him a good bit. And he is my friend from across the pond. And he sent me a package yesterday that I have to share with you because this is amazing. I'm saving this for a minute because I have to tell you why. But he sent me two ATCs and I have to show you what he did. Now Gareth is a jewelry maker, okay? And this ATC, he attached a bracelet to it. So the bracelet is wrapped around the ATC, and on the back, it says Pumpkin Sequin, Gareth Frewer, G's Creations on Facebook and Etsy, Handmade Jewelry. Um, I love this, and I'm going to wear this bracelet. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. This leaf, can you see that cutout leaf? And it's coppery feeling. Um, it's very fall. It's very perfect for me. I love it. But I also love that he packaged it on an ATC. So if you guys are jewelry makers and you want to get into ATCs, what a cool way to package them. So let's talk about this ATC for a minute. This is a pumpkin that he's traced or outlined in twine. He's basically created it with the twine and filled it with sequins and a little leaf. And then the background looks like it's book paper that he might have inked or treated with some color. And then there's little 
bronze stars in the corners and look at the little twine for the pumpkin topper and buttons I love buttons so cute thank you Gareth for that I just love it let me show you the other goodies he spoils me so bad I cannot tell you how bad Gareth spoils me look at this this is his another ATC that I saw him post and I just love I know this because I follow him <laughs> so this piece here the ATC card itself is a wooden ATC and it's from Fernley Designs this tree is also from Fernley Designs this is where he and Jane get a lot of their wood pieces look at the buttons on the tree and how he did now this this is so cool too this is a cut out of paper a little circle of paper that he inked the edges and put in and I just love it and it looks like there's a little bit of maybe fabric or lace behind there just love it now here's the other cool thing he took a I don't know for sure if that's like a hook like a twist in hook that he put in here but he put three charms on or he put two charm separate charm pieces but there's three of them and he tells me that they are Tibetan silver I think I'll have to look it up it's in his card I'll tell you but that these are just as good as sterling silver I can wear these on my jewelry and don't think I won't I'm in love with them there's a tree and a little owl and a little wing like an angel wing I love this card this ATC it's called button moon I love that love it love it love it Gareth Brewer love it okay I'm sorry I'm just reading the back and I'll put it back in this little silver bag you sent it in I love that too now then let me read the card so I can tell you what that is he made this card and I like that it's in this plastic do you see this it's like in this plastic coating and it's got some really neat stuff it looks like some some um, spellbinder cutouts here and that feels like a die cut out there with the spider web and all cute little things it says thank you it's really really cute on black paper and it says dear Amy encloses the first Halloween card I've ever made that's this one I love it I have also enclosed a few vintage postcards which I'm gonna show you guys in a second that I thought you could use um, I've given you two of the ATCs I've made especially for you. They are a token of my thanks and friendship. And they have a few, yeah, Tibetan silver charms. Let's say Tibetan silver charms on them, which you can remove and wear. All the best, Gareth. That's what I think is so cool is that these charms, if you're a jewelry maker, what a neat way to give your jewelry out. To do an ATC like this and connect your jewelry to it. I think that is so creative. But I can take these off and wear them, and I love trees so much. I just love it. I'm, like, enamored with that. Okay, let me show you the rest. I love this card, too, and his first one ever. These are the postcards he mentioned. And these are so cute. These are actual postcards that you could actually, you know, mail off to somebody. But check these out. They're so cute, and there's so many different ones. And I'm really thinking I might put some of these into my album. I think I could do it. I think I could make them work. Many happy returns of the day. This, this is happy birthday. Um, a hearty congratulations. Best wishes. Many, many thanks. These are just beautiful, aren't they? So pretty. So thank you so much for those, Gareth. So nice. And so many of them. I'm going to come up with something cool for these. I really like these. I think they are gorgeous. But let me show you. Okay. Gareth will not be offended when I say this. <laughs> I think my favorite part is this. And he will not be offended. He knows me very well. Okay. Says Amy, I hope you can use these stamps somewhere in your craft as I know how much you like them. Every time Gary sends me something from the UK, I take the stamp off and save it because they are so cool. The postage is. So he went through and, say, and cut away some postage for me from England. And the reason I think I like them so much, they're royal mail. Can you see the queen? so cool i wish i could read what this is it's really interesting how they do it it's like this one says first second this one says large on it large so he he knows how much i love them these are one of my favorites look at this this is the royal mail see that so i have a couple of these already that i've gotten from him and there's one like that and then this one is really cool um this one has i, I can't make out who this is on it. it's a lady and a man and I can't make out who it is. But check this out. I love it. So he knows I love this. I'm very much into this. So <laughs> thank you so much for the postage, Gareth. There's no there's no telling how I will use this. Knowing me, I'll just save it to remember you. But I'm going to try to put it into a craft because I think that will be super cool. 
So guys, thank you so much for sending me all of the Christmas cards for my album. I look to start the album in September. I want to get through um, a few more things I've got kind of lined up that I need to get done before I start the album. So look for that to happen then. And I've had some people tell me they still want to send some things. And you know, I think that's perfectly fine if you keep sending stuff. And the reason is I'm going to be working on the album for a while. So I can always add cards and tags to it later. So if you want to send anything, I'll put my address below for that. And um, please know you do not have to send a gift. I love receiving your gifts, but you do not have to send me a gift. It's super sweet when you do. But I just love your cards. And I wanted to share this video so you guys could all see what everybody had sent. So thanks so much for your time. And I will see you tomorrow where we will have a really cool Christmas craft. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.